Welcome to Engineering Scale Models. I'm Jason, your host, and today we are going to be doing a little bit of milling with the Proxon MF70 Mini Mill and their dividing chuck, which I have already installed on the mill because I did a test run of what we're going to do. As you can see here, I have this diamond cut out of this wax block and I need to do that on two more sides. Now, <clears throat> this is going to get carved some more so it doesn't have to be exact precision, but I need to carve these out. It's for a project for a buddy of mine, so um, it's going to be eventually a guitar pick with three different thicknesses. So I've already done this one. This side is two millimeters. This side is two millimeters. And I'm going to make this side uh, one millimeter and this side 1.5 millimeters. So the total overall thickness for this is five millimeters. So if I want to make one one millimeter, I need to bring down it two millimeters on each side, and I should have a millimeter left over. Now with a dividing with this proxon dividing chuck, you tighten it down, and then you're able to loosen loosen it by spinning these gizmos out just like so and my teeth are messed up but it works for this process alright we can lock this in there lock this down so locked in there and then we can now loosen that up and we can spin this around freely. So now for, for an end mill, I am going to use a 1 16th inch ball nose end mill. This is from, um, I believe it's Speed Tiger. And it is a ball nose end mill just to give me the radius on the inside there so it's not just such a sharp cut um, mostly because I've already done it with the ball nose I probably should have used a 1 16th uh, square cut but I didn't so I'm going to continue with this one so it's a speed collet so we're just going to tighten it down like so and we're going to load it in there and we have a variety of speeds we can use to cut. Make sure you wear safety glasses. Basically we turn it on and we can increase the speed if we need to. I run it at a low speed, it's fine, it's just wax, it's not even a, you know, it's wax with a bit of plastic in it actually. So now we need to line up our cuts. So I'm going to bring this down here. So bring it up to bring it up one millimeter above the piece, and then we will break this over. Now, as you can see, there's a little bit of play in my table but I'll make sure when I move the table that I don't, I'm not inside the part. So now let us line up this cut here. That looks good. down to point eight. The mark is right there. So I think I am on, actually on top of the part right now. We're going to check to see if that's true. Bring you guys in here. Let's see this a little bit better. I am 
inside, I am just barely on top of it, so I need to go down two millimeters. So if I go down to 0.8 again, and then I go down to, we'll say 0.6, that should give me where I need to go. I want to get it to where I touch that other line, which is right there take it out and then I'm going to break it over a little bit and then come in again It's not got to be exact as I need it to be. This could get it exact as I need to be. So I need to go down to 0.8 here. And that should get me right on top of it. Come back down here. Yep, that's where I want to be. So we got it checked in there. And then we'll come down to 0.8, and then we'll swing it back around to 0.6. And then we'll point it in. Part. I'm going to clean this off. I'll 
a little bit. And then you can see that that is done. And bring this table forward. Now, if I loosen, no, I'm not going to be able to loosen this unless I can get this out of here. Alright, so we're going to go back, sorry. Now, it should, if I loosen this up here, I should be able to flip this over. This should be pretty lined up to do this cut here. Let's check to make sure. Yep, it looks pretty straight on there. Let's get it down there. Let's check this. So we are right above it. So let's go up here. Let's go down. Let's go to point eight. Okay. Let's check this point at point eight. where we want to be. Now we will bring it down to that point. Point eight. And then we will go to point six. Good. So you go this way a little bit. And bring it out here. Okay, so let's go to this point eight right there. That should be touching it. Bring it down. Point eight again, and then down to point six.
taken off this last little bit here. Said I don't like to come to move on the part with the table because I haven't worked out all the play left yet. I can work out the play, but it makes my gear super tight, so I just do it this way. And it's it, it's working. So let's shut this off. Let's bring this all the way up here. Oh, that's my hands right in the way there. Sorry, guys. All right, let's bring the camera out so we can take a look at what we've done here so let's bring this part out as you can see I build a diamond piece in there and we'll go ahead and measure it it is 1.38 millimeters which is which can be trimmed down a little bit. It's actually about the thickness that I want it because I can file it down a little bit more. I'll probably make the other one a little bit thicker in between this one, about 1.75 probably, and it will be good to go. Well, that is the Proxon M70 Mini Mill here. There you can see the label on it. It is a handy piece of equipment for making any kind of tiny model parts or whatnot. Um, be sure to take out your end mills and keep them safe. You know, these are carbides, so they will break. Carbides overkill. For what I'm doing, I'm going to leave the dividing chuck on there and then I'll just clean this up with my little vacuum. But it's basically pretty simple to use, easy to set up. I have a quick change collet on there. You can also use their collet system, you know, that it comes with. It comes with these here, and then a, a nut that goes over it to lock the lock the bits in. So, but that's gonna do it. I think it's a fantastic tool. Um, you can adjust the, the 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 play and the table by these three here, and you can also adjust the side by side play with the little nut screw set screws on this side and also up and down there are some set screws on this side so you can really lock it down if you want it perfect so it does tighten up the way these turn and I knew I could do it off the part so I left it a little loose so I could speed through it a little quicker so you have a lot of ways to customize this this is a great piece of tooling I, I, I enjoy it Especially if you're, if you're working with wax and you want to mill it to wax, this is fantastic for wax. I've used it to customize some scale model ship parts, hollowing out doors and whatnot. And you can also make small things. Um, you can get the table vise on it to bolt it down to the table. But right now I'm using this dividing collet. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. You can visit me at these social media links. Links are in the description. And you can also support me on Patreon. You know, post things you want me to do and things like that. Start doing custom videos and things like that. Well, thank you so much.